over 1,000 miles on my Genuine Rattler 200i, and that's on the two-month anniversary of ownership. Is 1,000 miles a required oil change interval? Well, not per the owner's manual. The owner's manual says the first service should be completed by the dealer at 497 miles or 800 kilometers. And then a big jump to the next service, which includes the next oil change. They're saying 2,485 miles. That's a lot of mileage on 950 milliliters of total oil and an air-cooled engine that only has a small mesh strainer as a filter. But this is where it gets interesting. Go back to that first oil change interval, the 497 miles, that's in the owner's manual. I was able to get my hands on an actual shop manual, and that says the first oil change should happen at 300 kilometers, or 190 miles. Reason for the disparity between these two manuals, no clue. Other than the dealer servicing at 500 miles, neither of these met my schedule for oil changes. My scooter arrived at my door with Maxima break-in oil per the dealer. So I opted for a first oil change and a gear oil change at 100 miles. Even then, I had to force myself to wait that long. Then I changed it again at 300 just to get another look at the oil. Then, of course, that dealer service at 500. And that gets us back here to 1,000 miles where the oil change is not required per the shop or the owner's manual. But I figure oil is cheaper than an engine and it's the lifeblood of an engine, so I'll spend $11 now instead of gosh knows how much later. And this is how it's done on the Rattler 200i. First, I warm the engine. Then I shut it down. Before I start draining, let's see what I've set aside to get the job done. First, nitrile gloves to protect my hands from filth. Tools needed, a ratchet with a 17 millimeter socket. This will work on both drain plugs. Paper towels because I don't like messes and oil can get messy quick. Apparatuses for measuring, holding, and pouring the oil, including a funnel that's tucked away in that bag. And of course, the oil which for the Rattler is special. The Rattler uses 15W40 oil, and in the instructions, they are adamant that this bike needs JSO MB rated oil. Interestingly, there's only one brand I could find that stocks this in the US, a 15W40 with a JSO MB rating, and that's the genuine brand, the makers of this scooter. I figure they know this engine better than anyone, so I made sure that's exactly what I bought, and enough to last for thousands of miles, even if I change the oil at an accelerated schedule. I also use a single cycling glove or work glove, you'll see why in a second, and not pictured here, torque wrenches that I use. One with a 3 8 inch drive and one that's a quarter inch drive. A late add-on, I purchased a Wix oil analysis kit. I've never used one from Wix, but it was cheap. I'll put a link down in the description. So I thought it'd be fun to test this out and then report back on it. Let's get to the changing where when I'm not filming it, it takes me less than 10 minutes. I start by checking the oil, and I'm doing it here just to show you. 500 miles of use didn't burn off anything measurable. The level, right where it should be. A special note here, something unique about this scooter. Well, some scooters are like this. You don't screw the dipstick back in. You take it out, you wipe it, and then you just push it in, pull it back out, and then you can see your oil level. If you screw it in, you're going to get the wrong reading. I'm going to put the dipstick back in the port, but not screw it in. It's going to be loose. That'll allow the oil to flow more freely when I break the drain bolt open. And this also keeps anything from easily entering the engine while I'm working on the other side, which is where the main drain plug is. 17 millimeter wrench to open. I always try my best to keep the drain plug in the socket when I'm opening this. About 99% of the time it drops into the oil, but no worries. This is why I wear gloves. I'll speed this part up because it's a waiting game for all the oil to drain. Total oil volume for this scooter, 950 milliliters. Oil change volume, 800 milliliters. And I drain this into a measuring cup so I can keep check of what comes out. I'm hoping to see exactly that 800 milliliters. That was what was put in at 500, and that's what I'll be putting back in after this change. A quick peek at this oil, 1,000 miles on the bike. This oil, 500 miles of runtime. I'm liking what I see. No metal sheen, no flakes. This looks good. Once it gets to a slow drip, I put the drain plug back in, and this is where I use the 3 8 inch torque wrench. This drain plug needs to be torqued at 20 to 26 Newton meters. Once torqued, a quick wipe to keep things clean, and then the other drain plug, technically called the oil cover screen. 
It's on the other side, the exhaust side of the bike. This also uses a 17mm socket. This is spring loaded, so caution is required to keep things from springing out and stuff going everywhere. Normally, I'd do this over the cup that I drain the oil into, but this is for a video. I needed a clear camera shot, so I positioned towels below the area. Let's hope they contain the little bit of oil that's going to come out, along with the spring and the oil strainer, which again is the bike's only filter a small mesh strainer. Like the oil that we just looked at, I like what I see here. There are no flakes or debris of any kind, and nothing down in the drain plug or cover filter cover as it is officially called this too makes me happy let's check the oil amount drain this should have been 800 milliliters and that's exactly what it is and no sheen it looks good that's a reflection on the container this is exactly what i was hoping to see as far as drained oil at 500 miles or rather 500 miles of runtime on this oil i'll go ahead and take some of it for the oil analysis kit now ideally this would have been collected midstream but I'm trying to work with filming and measuring, so I'm gonna pour it. This won't affect the results in any measurable way as my containers are clean. After wiping the area and inspecting the O-ring, I'm gonna reinstall the oil screen cover, being careful not to cross thread it. That would be bad, very, very bad. Once properly installed, I'm using the quarter inch torque wrench I mentioned earlier. This is the one that I also use for bicycle repairs. I use it because it works with lower torque values. This needs to be torqued between 13 and 17 newton meters, which I step up to. First 10 newton meters, then 13, and usually I end at 15, splitting the range difference. Let's see how I did with my shop towels containing the small bit of oil that dripped out during removal. Nice. While all this has been going on, I've had my measuring cup draining into a bottle. It needs to be empty for the next step. Measuring the new oil, 800 milliliters, exactly what came out. One good thing about this engine is the refill volume leaves a little oil left over in case I need to top off between changes. I'll speed up this part as well, just know I'm going slow to make sure I don't have any backflow. I want all of this in the engine, not on the ground. Once the fill is complete, I let it sit for a few minutes, about 10, while I clean up the work area and put my tools away. Then a quick check to verify the oil level is exactly where it should be. Finally, I'm going to run the engine again for a few minutes and warm the oil up, followed by a peep at both drain plugs to make sure there are no drops or signs of oil seeping. It should be completely dry, and it is job completed. Next oil change, maybe after another 750 miles, possibly a thousand, definitely not the manual's 2,485 mile change. I'll have a better sense of why they have such a long interval after I get the oil analysis back, so keep an eye out for when I get the results. I'll be making a video talking about that, which is why you want to make sure you are subscribed and you have the notification bell active, and while you're at it, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or informative. Also, would you be interested in a time lapse of my recent 150 plus mile road trip on this scooter? It happened right after I did this oil change. We cruised through some scenic fall colors on Natchez Trace. Drop a comment if you'd like to see that, or if you have any questions or comments about this oil change or the Rattler scooter. I'm racking up miles with it, and I'm happy to share my experiences. Thank you so much for watching Kev Central. Have a great day.